Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. I'm your Excel Guru and today I brought a wonderful feature of Excel for you which is VLOOKUP and VLOOKUP with a multiple variation. That means with a single VLOOKUP you would be able to pull up data for X number of categories for a single lookup value. So I, I have taken an example, let's go through it then we'll be able to understand it better. Say uh, we have this a range over here, student name and their relevant marks in maths, English, geography, chemistry, Spanish, history and computers. So if we want the the system, the v when we apply a VLOOKUP and for any name that you put up over here, the VLOOKUP should pull up data for all these subjects at a single go. How would we do that? Do that? Let us check. So here is the date raw dump, raw data from where the data would be pulled up. So these are the names on the students, Khatib, Charlie, my friend Charlie, uh, Manish, Pankaj, Amrit, Abhishek, and oh, ho, we have Rambo in our school, Wolverine 2 studies, Magneto studies, Superman studies. See, uh, Rambo has 38 marks in maths, Wolverine got 30, and Superman actually failed. Anybody below 33 marks fails. So Superman failed in maths. I'm so sorry, Superman, <laughs> just a joke, just a joke. So now to do uh, multiple VLOOKUP, uh, it is relevant that we understand, uh, or even to do VLOOKUP, we need to understand the column numbers. So where from wherever your data starts, uh, VLOOKUP would consider that to be uh, column one. So this is column one, this is two, and up till here, A. Same numbering I've given over here also, just for reference purpose, all right? So let's do a VLOOKUP. Uh, say we mention, let's mention Charlie over here and now do a normal VLOOKUP, a single VLOOKUP is equal to VLOOKUP. We select the lookup value, okay, we need to look up for Charlie and there is a table array, table array is over here, We that means the raw data, so we go and select the complete raw data, comma and we are looking for maths and English. So sorry, maths. So maths is in column two. So we enter column two, comma zero, bracket close, and here's the marks for Charlie in maths. So which is 85 max marks. Now, if we want to pull up marks for English, geography, chemistry, then we have to do a VLOOKUP for every column, right? No, we can change that. How? Few things before doing that. We go to the raw data sheet and the column array or the range from where the data has to be pulled up or the dump, let, let's name it so that it would be easier referencing it in doing a multiple lookup. So all it's very easy to name a range, just select the range and click on this name box and type in the name you would like. Say I give it a name data and press enter. So now it is named, that's it. And to pull up a name range, all you have to do is to just press F3. And here comes the name range. Easy? So we go back again to our sheet. Now we do a multiple VLOOKUP. How? To do that, we have to select the complete range into which we want to do a VLOOKUP. So I've highlighted, selected this complete range. Now I'm pressing is equal to VLOOKUP. And I select the lookup value. This is the lookup value. Immediately, I place a dollar sign in front of it to lock this value so that this uh, whenever the VLOOKUP function is used in these columns also it will take it will reference only to this cell for student name it will not reference any other cell now the table array we have named the table array so we just type in the name of the table array see it shows up over here with a name tag dog tag over here data comma it now it says column index for math see we had to input two so now what? Now we type in column, C-O-L-U-M-N-S, columns, and bracket open. Now it's asking for array. Now see, uh, columns, what does it do? It simply returns the column numbers for you for a specific array that you give to it. Now I want two to come over here, three for English, four for geography, and eight for computer. However, a single column if I just enter C it will take C as one and I want it to be variable so what I will do is I will 
use C7 to D7, which will, which for Excel is, is equal to 2. C7 column D7. C7 till D7 till here, it equals to 2 for Excel. So whenever it, uh, since I'm pasting the data for maths, it will automatically give a 2 over here. And when we move to English, it will give a 3. Why would it give a 3? Because I have fixed C7. So C7 will not change. But however, as the formula progresses from here to here, D7 would change to E7, E7 would change to F7, and so 2 would change to 3, 3 would change to 4. Automatically, we will get a increasing, incrementing column number. So comma 0, bracket close, and now most important, control enter. And here we have a single VLOOKUP uh, formula for all these sections. See, Charlie's math, Marks and Maths, English, Geography, Chemistry, Spanish, History and Computers. Let's review this formula. See over here, C7 is this range, name, data, we are referring to the raw data, columns feature, C7 till D7 would give you 2 over here. See, everything else remains the same. C7 has changed, C7 to e D7 has changed to C7 till E7, which means 3. So on and so forth. So, uh, this Excel file that you're looking at uh, in this video is available for free download on my website. Do go to it and download the file. And if you believe what I'm doing is right and if you believe that uh, my work is good, then I would like you to share it across on Facebook. Uh, do go to Facebook and like me over there. My, um, you can find me with the name Excel Made Easy and you can like me over there. So, this is your Excel Guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy Excel learning.